Hey what's up folks, I'm here today to give you a tutorial on a new synth which I've just downloaded and bought for myself. It's called Reactor 5. Um, basically what it does is you can use these synths which have been pre-made for you or you can create your own synths um, and kind of sort of mess around with synths side of things. But the reason why I bought this is because I had a problem a while ago which is getting addicted to buying loads and loads of synths. I thought buying this one for me in the long run will save me money because I can make my own synths, you know, which can make some really interesting sounds. Even the ones that are already pre-made, which I've just loaded up for you now, I've got interesting sounds, so just play one. As you can hear that they're quite um wide, spacious Pad sounds, let's load up another preset. So you can get some really interesting sounds and vibes from these things. Um, let's load up another one. I mean, I'll take this off for a second. I've used Reactor 5, I've used a synth pre made called Green Matrix, and that's found under Synthesizers and Green Matrix. Uh, I'm just going to play you what it sounds like with the pad that I've already got down now. The one that's having note pitches going up and down. That's the reactor one. So bearing in mind, um, I will still be using only logic based. I've only used this pad as an example of what you can get on your arrangement. But let's load up React 5 again and play around with a few things. Uh, that chord. Um, another thing, if you do decide to get it for yourselves, um, when you load up one of these synths like this one, double click in the blank area and you'll be presented with this. Now this is generally what it looks like when you make your own synthesizers. You get a little dialogue boxes uh, for LFOs, oscillators, um, sine waves, saw waves. This is generally what it looks like. And then you have like a whole uh, screen full of all these little boxes, which in turn uh, gives you something like this. But when you do load, load up a pre made synth, you need to come up to here and drag these lines down to the outputs. Um, then you'll be able to get sounds out of your synths. So it's pretty much like um, the other DAW workstation. Then what's it called? Uh, Reason or something. I think it's called. I, a lot of the things in there you have to wire certain things into another place, and that it's a sim similar sort of uh, process like this. Let's load up another one. Um, so you got like an arpeggiated type of pad sound there. Let's load up another synth. Uh, load up this one. And you must always, every time you load up a synth, do this in order to get sound from it. That's just a very standard sound. So that's a good sound. Let's load up another one. Uh, and not forgetting to do this. Sometimes you will forget to do it, but I suppose that's just natural. Tell you what, that pad which I've just played you from the green matrix, which is here, um, I think this is only a synthesizer based for pads only. I mean, I could be wrong, I've only just worked this out myself, but uh, what else is there? Let's have a look. Um, Plinky HS. Yeah, 
though. Sometimes you'll get a, a screen like that with loads of things. All you have to do is just double click in one of the blank areas again, and you should get another place like this, which is generally what you need to use anyway in order to get sound out. Yeah, there we go. might have been the sound that I used in here but um, I played around with these parameters a little bit so you can get a really interesting vibes out of this uh, let's have a look square bounce That's something you might hear in some electro sort of tracks, that sort of sound. Um, let's have a look at what else there is. And don't forget, always do this. You know, it's important. This is the sort of sounds which may have been used in a lot of old fashioned. Like say the Terminator One, in that film you hear a lot of uh, synth-based sounds. Like, um, oh, if I remember rightly, uh, the part where they're on that car chase, they're trying to get away from the Terminator. They had like a quick sound. Like, I mean, could be completely wrong, but. There are a lot of synth-based sounds in there. I mean, obviously it sounds very synthy now, but... That's a good sound. I'm just going to play you one more synth and then uh, yeah, I'll leave it at that. What else is there? FM4. That might be good for. Um, Dub stepping type of bases. Where's the other five things? Uh, let me just work out how to uh, do it. Could be quite interesting. Uh, excuse me. It's just my phone ringing. Uh, you put automation on that knob. You know, you might be able to have it for a breakdown or coming back into the beat, maybe. So that's quite good. I mean, generally, a lot of the. Uh, Simps which have been provided for you are generally quite good. So look at this one. Some of them you might struggle with, like that one. Let's. Uh, I'm just going to quickly go through a few other things before I go. Um, what else is there? Effects. What can we get out of the effects? Echo mania. So, we still have to do this again. Oops.
Yeah. Um, you might just need to sort of play around with a few things just to sort of get. Oh, there. Yeah. Sometimes you might need to sort of choose a preset in order to make things happen. Yeah. It's it's gonna take a bit of getting used to. Uh groove boxes. What's this? Yeah, as I say, you could have to sort of play around with a few things just to sort of know what you're doing. But generally, what this is based at is making your own synths, um, essentially. That's what you have to do. Um, but as I say, go over to Point Blank's channel. I've posted up a new Friday Forum live uh, video, which is based on this synth. And it, Paul Crossman, who used to be my teacher, as I say, uh, explains how to make the synthesis side of things but uh, yeah if you enjoyed this tutorial um, leave some comments as I say um, for the guy who requested for me to do a tutorial on how to make a deep house track um, I will be uh, going to do soon hopefully I can get out next week somewhere so keep your eyes peeled for them if you're if you're watching this mate um, but generally I think overall this is a very good uh, buy. I mean, even though it cost me 300 and something odd pounds, whatever it was, for a download version, and it's the same for the box version, essentially you're saving yourself money because you can make your own sims and you might possibly be able to sell your own sims as well. I'm not sure how you'd go about doing that. Maybe you need to make your own website up or something. I don't know. But yeah. Leave some comments, thumbs, all that sort of thing, likes, rate, comment, etc. Yeah, I shall uh, speak to you later, guys. Cheers.